guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be this beautiful natural everyday makeup look you've seen my everyday foundation routine that changed a little today i won't be using the same foundation which is the love of my life tarte foundation i love tarte foundation but i finally found a drugstore foundation i've been in the hunt for a good drugstore foundation and i finally found it which is very affordable i really like it and i love the coverage that it gives me this is for those mommies that are running around and still want to look fixed up or for anybody that wants to you know that is running errands and just wants to look so if you guys want to get this look stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoyed this video love you all bye First things first, we washed our face. Now we're going to be moisturizing our face, obviously, with my pawns because it's my favorite thing ever. You guys know how much I love this stuff, so I'm going to be moisturizing with this. Rubbing this much, rubbing it on my fingertips. And I'm patting it on. Now going in with my professional from Benefit. Love this stuff. Grabbing this much will be enough. Rubbing it on the, my fingertips and putting it on my T-zone. And then I'll be pressing it in. The foundation I'm going to be going in with is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And I'm in the color Sand Beige W5. And I've been looking for a good drugstore makeup. And I've been using this for about two weeks already. And I'm in love and obsessed with this L'Oreal True Match. I always, um, always been looking for something drugstore uh, just because it is way cheaper. And I'm so happy I found something. I've used before the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. But since I do have oily skin, it, I would have to touch up a lot. But with this one, I don't have to touch up at all. This one's great for oily skin. I have oily skin on my T-zone. So if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation and for an affordable price, this one is the one you should go with, if, especially if you do have oily skin as I do. We're going to go in with it and shake it well. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this, dot it all over my face. And little goes long ways. Like you don't even have to use a lot. Because you do not want to pour this in the back of your hand or else you are going to, it's a lot is going to come out. So you don't want that. So I'm going in with my Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. Love this. You can also use a beauty blender. This is a buildable foundation. You could start with a, um, you know, a medium coat, but if you do want that full coverage, you can go in with some more. But with this brush, I don't feel like I need to go in with some more. This brush does the trick. So just going in like this, spreading that foundation out. And it gives you a good full coverage with this brush. Bringing it under my eyes. Always bringing it down the neck. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. This time I am going to put it on the back of my hand very careful guys though because it is very runny and like I said if you don't if you're not careful it is gonna a lot will come out of the bottle and you'll just be wasting product so I like to dab it on my skin just to warm it warm the product up and then applying it to the areas that I want a little bit more coverage which is my cheeks and blending it down. And 
make sure you blend it like right here on your hairline. Down the neck. Always bring it down the neck. You do not want to have one color difference here. And that is the foundation. Now I'm going to be putting on some concealer. And I will just put a little bit of this in the back of my hand. And the concealer I'm using is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is NC20. Like this much on the back of my hand. Warming it up with my ring finger. And I'll be dabbing it under my eyes. Like so. I'm not going to do an intense highlight. Just a little bit of highlighting. Just so I won't look tired and my face looks nice and bright. Not too intense. I'm not bringing it down like how I usually always bring it down a little bit and up. I'm just going to do it just to highlight the eyes. So nothing too intense today. With my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, but this one's the concealer that highlights. This is the neutralizer color. Getting a little bit of this. I'm going to be putting it a little bit right where I put the, just like that. Like so. Just to kind of highlight the area. Just not so much today. We're going to do a, more like a, a toned down highlighting today. Just like that. We do want our face to look highlighted just because um, we want to look awake. We want to look nice and fresh as well. So going in with the same brush, my Expert Face from Real Techniques. Just dabbing it on. And blending out all the concealer that I just put on. Just like that. And now we're going to be setting all of this. And you know I love to set my under eye concealer and my highlighting areas with my 6 color palette from BH Cosmetic. Love this stuff. Um, I'm going to be going in with the setting brush from Real Techniques. Love Real Technique brushes. If you guys are looking for good affordable brushes, go for Real Techniques. They they're so good. So good quality brushes for an affordable price. I really, really love these. Um, so I'm going to be going in with this neutral color, just swirling it like this and grabbing some of the white. And I'm going to be dabbing it on my under eye. Dabbing it on first. You guys know that I love to just dab it on first and then I do the whole swirly. And I'm just going to be like swirling this in to the area that I do want to highlight, blending it out because you don't want a blotch of powder in one section. Grabbing just the white, bringing it out, bringing it to that area that I wanted to highlight. All the areas that I'm going to highlight, I'm going to be just putting the white powder, okay? Cupid's bow. And my chin. Now going in with my mineralized skin finish from MAC. I'm in the color medium. I'm just going to be grabbing my MAC powder brush and just dabbing it on the product and dabbing it on the areas that I haven't set yet. Blend everything out and down your neck. Blending it together with the highlighting part. So that's all set. Everything is set. So now I'm going to be going in with a bronzer just to warm up my face and my complexion. 
Um, I'm going to be using a matte bronzer today, usually for this natural, everyday, you know, on the go, ready to go, quick makeup. I always go for a shimmery and that is all I would wear. But today I kind of wanted to put a little touch of pink, a little touch of flush color on my skin. And I'm going to be going in with a matte bronzer just because my blush has a little bit of shimmer. And this is the Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. And this is the Candy Glow. And it has a shimmer. So I don't not want to have, I do not want to have a shimmery bronzer plus a shimmery blush. It will, it does look nice when you're tan and you're doing but today I want to keep it a little bit toned down and more you know looking more natural so I'm gonna be going in with my matte bronzer from Essence and this is the Sun Club brunette darker skin um, matte bronzing powder and this is in the color 02 sunny and it looks like this love this so I'm gonna be going in with my Borghi stippling brush I love for bronzer so I'm gonna get some of that and then I'm going to be putting it right here, kind of like contouring, but bringing it up a little. And then bringing it up on my forehead, across my forehead, just to kind of warm up my complexion. Bringing it down on my jawline. And blending it down my neck. You can, without getting any more product, you can just squeeze the brush like this and putting it up down your nose. Just a little bit, like bringing it down your nose like this. Kind of like contouring, but I'm just doing it to kind of warm up my complexion. Like so. So that is that. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with my blush that I'm going to be using is the Too Faced and it is the Candy Glow. It's the Sweetheart. This is like the cutest little packaging ever. The packaging is what caught my eye and the reason why I bought it. So I'm going to be using my angled contour brush, blush brush from Borghese and I'm just going to be swirling it in the box. And I'm going to be putting it on the apples of my cheeks bringing it up because this does give you a beautiful glow so I won't be ha I don't have to highlight after this this is just perfect so smiling a little bit and bringing it up and it just gives you that beautiful glow like not it's not too pink putting it on my nose like that so we are done with blush now now we are going to be going in with our eyes. So the first thing I do, always do, is my brows. Because it's the thing that I love to work on more. Um, I use two products, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then this is in the color Brunette. And then I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. Love, love this stuff. So I'm going to be using... So I'm going to be going in with the spoolie. First thing I do is brush out the eyebrow. Like so. And then I'm going to be outlining my brow first. And I bring it out a little because I do not have a long eyebrow. So I have to kind of, I don't have beautiful eyebrows like how I wished I had. That I can just brush them out, put a little bit of powder. No, I kind of have to draw in my eyebrow because I do not have a lot of hairs. Like I said, I do have sparse hairs. Um, so I just, so I'm pretty much showing you guys how I also do my eyebrow. So what I do first is I do a line with the pencil. And now I'm going to do it to this eye. And this is the eyebrow I always have more problems with. Okay. 
And the reason why I love this pencil a lot is because it's so thin. The tip is so thin. I do have another pencil in it. Like I do have the NYX one, which I do love as well. But this one, it is a lot thicker. Like the tips are way thicker. And I do not like that because it is hard to outline or to make it very precise. This makes it very precise. It's so thin. It's like a lead pencil thin. And you know, you can like draw it like perfectly. So I outlined at the bottom of my brow. Now I'm gonna be going in with my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. And I'm gonna be grabbing the wax first just to kind of set the little hairs. So going in with my angled brush and this is the MAC 266. It is a little travel edition one. But going in with my brush, I'm be grabbing that wax, the tinted wax. Just dabbing it on there and I'm going to put it all over my, my little hairs just so my little hairs can stay in place. And automatically you'll see that it kind of like fills in the hairs. And that's what I really like about this. Like so. I feel like my eyebrows is what, I feel like what brows are what makes like the whole face change, like the whole makeup look change. You know, when you have like a beautiful sculpted eyebrow. I love that. Um, so that's why I take the longest in this. So now getting that middle color, which is the light, lighter color, just grabbing that. I'm going to be doing the out, this part right here, the little square shape right here. Just like so. And now just filling in the little sparse areas, filling the whole eyebrow out. I'm going to do this eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm done with my eyebrows. And I do love a um, in with my MAC NW20 Studio Finish Concealer. So I get, and then I go with a little flat brush like this. And this is the 212 from MAC. And just grabbing a little bit of this. And then I'm just going to be outlining my brow just to sculpt it out better and to clean up the edges. So I go in with a really light hand, like so. So I outline it first. And then I will be just blending it all out. And I really like this concealer for this because it's very creamy. It's perfect for that. Just blending it out with my finger. And it just sculpts it out better. So doing that to the other brow. Like so. Now going back with my spoolie, brushing it off. Brushing it out, just any harsh lines. And blending in the product together. Okay, so today I won't be using any eyeshadow just because I do want to keep it very natural. Um, you know, you could go in with a soft brown, but to me, I kind of just don't want, kind of want to like take a little break from eyeshadows today. So all I'm going to be doing is just topping it off with some mascara. But first of all, the first thing I'm going to do before I put the mascara is I'm going to be going in with this little powder puff that I have. And I got these at Walmart. And I really, really like this because it kind of like sinks in the product, like it presses it in into your skin. So I'm going to be going in with my Prep and Prime little translucent powder from MAC. 
and I'm not going to be swirling the pad on it. I'm going to be dabbing it on just to grab just a light, lightly some powder and just pressing it into my skin. And just like pretty much setting everything up. Um, I don't like setting sprays just because, well, I don't use a setting spray just because I feel I do have the Mac, the, the Mac. I, I do have the Fix Plus from Mac. I just use it as a spray and I don't know, I just don't like it. I feel like all the little sprinkles like stay on my face. I don't like that. So that's why I go in with this with the, the Prep and Prime. And I just dab it on and like start patting my the rest of my makeup. And I just love the way my face looks when I do this. So I'm done with that. Now I'm going to be going in with my mascara and finishing off the whole look. So I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. Going in with my L'Oreal with my L'Oreal mascara. I'm going to be Now going in with my Scandalize from Rimmel London. On the bottom lashes. So done with mascara. Now I'm going to be going in with my Scandalize Waterproof Coal Eyeliner. And this is black. And I'm just going to be putting it on my upper lash line in with my NYX Wonder Pencil and this is in the color light just looks like that and then I'm just going to be putting that on my lower lash line just to make my eye look bigger and bright and I'm going to focus it in right here in the inner corner right here so that is the completed look. Now we're just going to top it off with some blue. So this is the completed look. Now I'm going to be topping it off with some lipstick and lip gloss. And first thing I'm going to be putting on is Taffy from NYX. This is a NYX butter lipstick. It's just this beautiful pink color. I love pinks. Pinks are my favorite. Nudes and pinks are my favorite. So I'm just going to be putting this on. Not very precise, just like so. Now I'm going to be topping it off with the Buxom Mini Little Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Dolly. Just like this. That's the color. So that is that. This is the completed look. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Love you all.